How's everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Is anybody gonna join? <laughs> Is any, anyone gonna join my live? I have nobody. Yet. Oh, boom! Ricardo Amar, you are the first. Oh, there's everybody. Oh, look at all the hearts. Really, really lovely. All the hearts on Valentine's Day, guys. Guys, it's all happening. By the way, music does make life better. Uh, in case you were wondering or in case you had forgotten that, very important point. Where's everybody coming in here from? I love Chuck too, Emma. I think Chuck was a really fun journey. I take my coffee black. <clears throat> That's how I take my coffee. Whoever just asked me that. Yes, MegaCon. Who's going to MegaCon? I'm going to be at MegaCon. That'll be my first time at MegaCon. I kind of like saying it. MegaCon. MegaCon. This summer and this summer only, Zachary Levi is coming to Orlando. I mean, it won't be the only summer I come to Orlando, let's be honest. I'll, I'll be there other, other times in my life, I think. Oh, hi, Flo Subs. Yeah, I love you too. That's either Marcus or JR screwing around with me. Big dum dums. So listen, guys, I only got a few minutes. Uh, but I kind of felt compelled to uh, to basically say that today's Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if the rest of the world even celebrates Valentine's Day. By the way, yeah, Brolentines. That's right. It's Josh Brolin's birthday. Happy birthday, Josh Brolin. Um. So I don't know how much of the rest of the world even celebrates Valentine's Day. Um, but as a single person on Valentine's Day, it does feel, uh, you know, kind of shitty. I don't know. It feels, it feels like you're, you're missing, uh, you're missing something, um, in your life based on this calendar day. And, uh, and I, I kind of woke up and I wasn't, I mean, I, I, I felt pretty good this morning, but I was just thinking about how stupid that is. You know, I think holidays in general have become the, incredibly commercialized and, you know, uh, certain companies have done a very good job at marketing them to us and making us, uh, feel like they are this necessary part of our culture and society and history and how we interact with one another. And uh, it, look, for anybody out there who, who loves Valentine's Day or other holidays for that matter, but if you really love Valentine's Day and you want to, and you want to, you know, celebrate Valentine's Day, rock and roll, go do that. If you got your significant other, you know, enjoy that date night, do whatever it is that you want to do. But if I'm being perfectly honest, I think the whole damn thing is a sham. And not only is it a sham, but it, it it's it's counter counteractive to I think us actually just loving ourselves. As if you need this this other thing in your life to feel like today makes sense or that you're not somehow failing or missing out on what the point of today is. And uh so I just felt like making this live video <laughs> to, to just tell everybody out there whether you, you know what and there could be people out there with a, a significant other uh or not but either way love yourself love yourself first use this day let's take valentine's day and make it about self-love how about we do that how about instead of uh, you know boxes of chocolates and roses and all that stuff i mean by the way you could do that you could give that to yourself too i'm sure by the way a lot of people out there already do something like this and kudos to you that's a great thing practicing self-care and self-love is like it's like the most crucial thing, guys. We need to be doing that more than any, in, no, more than anything now, I think. And uh, and here we are in this this day, this this day of love. So I think it's fitting that we would take that back and make it about self love. And if you happen to have a romantic partner in your life and you want to go share that uh, with them too, that's great. That's great. I'm not knocking that, but this is more about, I guess, just kind of encouraging all of us to stop, stop going along with the brainwashing. Like I just, I, I think that we are so marketed to now. Everything is basically just trying to part us from our money. And 
Sometimes that's great. You know, sometimes people provide some really great products. I'm trying to provide, you know, uh, good services and products throughout my life. I'm always trying to value human life over profit, though. You know, people over profits. A lot of other companies, they don't do that. They, they just want to... They just want you to buy whatever it is they're selling and they'll use whatever means necessary. And they use holidays. They use holidays a lot. And Valentine's Day is no exception. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to go on that little bit of a rant and just encourage everybody out there who might be feeling a little lonely. Don't. Don't feel lonely. I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but you got you. You've got the coolest, greatest gift that you will ever be given in your life, which is your life. You get to wake up. You get to take in the day however you take that in. And I know not, not all of us are on the same levels and planes. This is, I'm certainly not trying to speak from any place of particular p- privilege that I have, but I do believe that human life, that, not even just human life, life, the fact that we, <laughs> we're alive, uh, you know, that's such an incredible gift. And, uh, and I want to start celebrating that more with you, you know. And uh, so, yeah, um, that's, about, that's about as much as I was going to rant on that, I think. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, I guess I'll do a little Q&A while I have a few minutes. Yes, Shazam is coming soon. Shazam is coming very soon. I think it's like 47 days now or something like that. Deep thoughts on Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a deep thinker. I think deeply. I feel deeply. I think and I feel deeply. Happy Valentine's, yes, yes. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Anybody else? Any other burning questions? What am I doing or talking about? <laughs> I mean, honestly, bro, your guess is as good as mine. I just, I, it's, it, it can be a lot of just verbal diarrhea. So, you know, it wouldn't shock me if you and many other people tuned me out by this point. Although I have now 900 people watching. 915. Oh, guys, we're climbing. How do we get like the 5,000 viewers that Stephen Amell and his brother got? Did the, did, the, did the Amell brothers just have like way more engaged viewership in their lives? Like, I don't. I feel like I felt like I did good when I was getting around a thousand people. I was like, that's good. And then you go watch somebody else's live and it's like, you know, ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to, trying to, I'm drinking coffee. That's what I'm drinking. I'm drinking coffee out of my steam bun, uh, steamboat mug. I bought a couple of these uh, and a couple of Park City, Utah mugs on this like random road trip I took with an ex-girlfriend years ago. And I kept them. Because they're just good, solid mugs. And I had a good time in Steamboat at my friends uh, Josh and Nalia's wedding way forever ago. And, uh, and uh, yeah, but we had a, it was a great time out there. And I had a great time in Park, in Park City. Always have a good time in Park City. And uh, so that's, so I'm drinking black coffee. That's what I'm doing. What time is it here? Uh, it's about noon. It's noon here in the great state of Texas. In... All of Texas? I mean, Texas is so big it could have multiple time zones, but I don't think it does. I should really look into that. I should know things like that. Hi from Italy. Hi. Buongiorno. Hey, Italy. Hey. I know. Does, everybody does this. Does that, does that feel like I'm being racist <laughs> or culturalist to, like, you know, pretend to be Italian? Hey, Italiano. Uh, hello, hello, hello. You know what, Adam Brian Olson? You don't know nothing of Texas. And put that in your pipe and smoke it. Miss ya. I did like visiting Sao Paulo. Lowly Corral. I did very much indeed. What part of Texas? I'm kind of like uh, outside of the Austin area. I mean, it's it's Austin, but I'm just not in Austin proper. But it's great. I love it out here. If y'all have never been out to Texas in general, I highly recommend it. Uh, But I highly, highly recommend the Austin area. It's just super groovy. Outside the box thinking people who, uh, you know want to do cool shit in the world and that's what I want to do so that's part of the reason why I moved out here uh hello from Iran oh hello Iran is that my favorite cup I don't know it's not my I don't know if it's my favorite cup but I like it um what else we got here oh great design conference tomorrow in Austin oh really I might have to go check that out I cannot do the splits Coco Berg I'd like to, though. When I was a kid, there was a, a karate dojo up the street, and they had one of those things that you could sit in, 
and you would crank, like literally there was like a crank right where the crotch was, and you could crank it, and it would slowly spread your legs out, so like teach you how to, you know, be more limber and stuff. It always looked like a torture device, but, you know, I also really wanted to be Ralph Macchio and the Karate Kid, so decisions, decisions. Uh, hello from Philly. Uh, my visit there was lovely. Thank you. Uh, although very, uh, very short. Too short. Too short. Uh, and the weather wasn't great. But I really did enjoy my time in Philly. I'm not going to floss dance for you. The floss dance needs to die, guys. I'm really grateful that I got to do that in the movie and portray an authentic 14-year-old kid in the movie. But we don't need to be doing the floss dance anymore. We really don't. The only flossing we need to be encouraging kids to do is the kind between your teeth. Okay. And I can speak from experience. I didn't do that for a long time, and I had some gnarly cavities between my teeth. And you don't want to deal with that. It's a lot of drilling and cleaning and stuff. Hello, Brazil. Oi, Brazil! I do the Italian fingers for Brazil. But I, I feel like that's a universal thing. We can all do that. Hey! It's like, yeah, ooh, yeah. Uh, and I love Argentina. Thank you, Ariel Danvers. Uh, Colombia! Mateo, all right, bro. And India, wow, everybody. Everybody's chiming in today. What time is it in India right now? It's noon here. It's got to be three days from now in India. The weather's actually kind of nice. It's really windy where I am right now. The wind's kicking up, but other than that, Indonesia. Oh, hi, rumor. Girl, you getting those workouts in. I see you on Instagram. I see you working at... Uh, I'd like to get back to New Zealand at some point. Kyrgyzstan? I, I don't know that I've ever... I mean, I knew that there was a Kyrgyzstan, but I don't know that I've ever seen anyone on these, on these lives from Kyrgyzstan. Hello, England. Hello, Mexico. Hello, Germany. <laughs> this is just an international affair, guys. This is so much fun. More Iran! Oh, it's midnight in India. Well, it's literally 12 hours difference. Okay, we'll see. We just learned something, guys. Austin, Texas is exactly 12 hours difference. From India. The more you know. That was like that little star flying over the top. Okay. Malaysia. Do you know when tickets are going to go on sale? I honestly have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Stockton, California. Silence. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I have no idea when tickets for uh, Shazam are going to go on sale. Honestly, guy, it all depends on what part of the world you live in and, and the theaters and what those theaters offer. Um, but I do know we're going to be in like every major format. So like IMAX and Dolby and all of, you know, like all the theater chains all have their like crazy 4D experience types of things. Literally like some, there's some theaters that have like seats that move around and like we're going to do, we're, Shazam's going to be in all that stuff. I don't think that was illegal for me to share that information, but well, I don't know. I might get a call from Warner Brothers Legal. I doubt it. I think they'll be happy that I shared that information. How young is too young for Shazam? I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it's a PG-13 movie as far as I know. Uh, there's like little teeny bits of like funny language, but nothing crazy. Uh, you know, the, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it really just depends on your parenting <laughs> style. Um, I would say... Any age, but, you, you know, know your kids. Know if they're super sensitive to stuff and, and whatever. Uh, you won't say anything. All right, well, don't say anything then. Anybody else? Let me just, let me just check really quick. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm good. I've got a meeting at, at noon, and it's, you know, noon o two now, so I'm just making sure that these guys uh, are actually still coming. And that will... Caused me to have to stop doing this, obviously. Wow, 1,200 people. Wow. People really... They really just keep trickling in, don't they? I appreciate that. I want to come to India. I'd love to come to India. I genuinely want to go everywhere in the world. I mean, I've said this before, but I... I you know, we, we, we've got one life, y'all. That's it. <laughs> I mean, unless you believe in reincarnation, and many people in India do. Uh, but... I, I want to make sure that, like, you know, I get to the end of my life and I've ticked off as many boxes as I possibly can. And India is definitely one of those places. Um, debating driving to Dallas. Oh, oh, for the con. Yeah, go to go to Dallas for the con. I'll be in Dallas. I'll be in Calgary. I'll be in Orlando for MegaCon. 
Uh, there's going to be more conventions coming up too. Uh, I, I don't know exactly when or where, but I'm going to try and do as many as I can this year. I mean, it'll be a fun year to do it, I think. You know, Shazam will come out and we'll all get to have a lot of fun with it. Oh, all right, guys. I got to go. Meeting's here. All right. Bye.